Today we're going to be talking about easy Christmas cards that you're going to foil with your Cricut. Hey everybody, I'm Nick from TheBeardedHousewife.com. This is the channel that shows you simple ways to craft your house into a home. Today I wanna to show you how to make these foiled Christmas cards that we make with our Cricut. You can see the shine there. It says, oh, Christmas tree on the bottom. This is made using the new foil transfer kit from Cricut. I'm gonna show you how to uh, convert the lines and set everything up, and then we're gonna get started making it. So let's head over to my blog and I will show you how to get the free file. Then we'll head over to Design Space, we'll tweak a few things, and then we'll get to foiling and cutting this out. Okay, we are here at my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. We're gonna head over to the Resource Library tab. If you don't have access to my free file library, you can go to the Get Access tab and you will fill out a form and you'll be emailed the password to get into the library. But for now, we're gonna click enter the library. And then once you type in the password, you'll be brought into the all the files that I have. So you're gonna to wanna to look for the O Christmas tree card. You'll download it to your computer and then you can open up Cricut Design Space and we can get started making it. Now that we have a new canvas and a new project open in Design Space, we're gonna to head to upload and upload image browse and find where we downloaded the file onto our computer and hit open and then come down to the right hand corner and click save highlight that image and then click insert image and it's going to bring it into our canvas there we go now don't worry if the card looks like this it's just because everything is set to cut right now but first we're going to want to go ahead and hit, hit ungroup and you'll see that I already changed the score line here but we do need to change these layers to foil so highlight the Christmas tree come up to the line type menu select foil and for this one we want to make sure that we select medium and do you see how it changes it now we need to go back up to the text layer highlight that layer come up to the line type menu select foil and for this one I want you to hit fine the reason that I have it this way is just because it it actually foils better if you select it this way but if you don't want the text you can always highlight the text and delete that that way you can just have the Christmas tree but I like the text on the front so I'm going to keep it the way that it is highlight all of the layers and then select attach in the layers panel and now you're ready to click make it you can see over here that it shows you the order that we're going to be doing this it's going to score it first and then it's going to foil and then it will cut you can hit continue and for this tutorial we're going to want to select medium cardstock after your Cricut connects to uh, design space for this tutorial, we are going to need our green standard grip cutting mat, cardstock, the foil transfer tool with the fine and medium tips, the foil transfer sheets, I'm using gold, and the scoring tool, the wheel or the stylus. I've already loaded my cardstock onto my mat, so we're going to go ahead and score the card. Now for this step, you do not want to hit the unload button because we're going to be applying the gold foil onto our cardstock, just like I'm doing here. I've already uh, put some of the tape on the edges just to make it easier. Just making sure that it's nice and smooth or as smooth as possible. It doesn't have to be super tight. If you need more help with the foil transfer toolkit, I will have a card above that has a video link to it for um, more step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. That looks good. I'm going to change out the scoring wheel for the transfer tool. 
Insert the tip by pressing on the plunger, inserting the tip, and then releasing the plunger. Insert that into clamp B. And we can hit the flashing C button. I'm going to fast forward the, or speed up rather, the video because this process does take a little bit to do. All right, the foiling is done. I'm gonna change out the cutting blade. Now again, you don't wanna hit the unload button. So carefully remove the uh, tape and the foil sheet, the foil transfer sheet. You do wanna do this slowly. And the tape is actually reusable if you uh, get it to come off cleanly. Full disclosure, I have um, ruin some of the tape by trying to remove the foil sheet too fast. I'm being overly cautious here. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We can see our design a little bit here. Now we can go ahead and cut. And there we go. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Oh, I had a little dust right there. All right, so all you need to do is fold along the score line. I'm gonna grab my scraper and press that fold nice and clean. And there we go. How pretty is that? I love this design. So shiny. Just add your message on the inside and it is ready to go. I also included an envelope for you too. It's in the download. How fun are these? I love how pretty they are, nice and shiny. Perfect for this time of year. And I really like the way that the navy up against the gold looks too. I hope that you like this and I hope that you make them for your family and friends. If you like this video, make sure that you hit like and subscribe so you know every time that I come out with a new video. Head over to my blog, thebeardedhousewife.com. I have lots of other card tutorials, Cricut tutorials, things like that, so make sure that you check it out. Until next time, I'm Nick, I'm the Bearded Housewife. I will see you all later. Bye.